Hello, this is the self-storage unit size calculator. Uh, I'm recording it in landscape mode on my phone and the way I get to landscape is uh, swipe down and there's auto rotate there at the top of the screen. Um, so a brief, a quick uh, description of how self-storage facilities rent storage units. Storage units are rented by floor area, not storage unit height or volume. This is because self-storage facilities tend to occupy pre-existing premises rather than design their own. This can sometimes mean the height of converted rooms are not always the same. But it's reasonable to assume a self-storage unit will be at least 8 feet high. Always ask to view your self-storage unit before agreeing to rent it to make sure the ceiling is high enough and accessible for the type of things you intend to put in it. What this application does, self-storage facilities uh, rent storage units by floor area so this application will calculate the floor space required to store your household possessions. When storing your stuff you will have to stack things which means the item at the bottom of the stack is the only thing on the floor therefore the rest of the items in the pile can be ignored with regards to calculating how much floor space the stack occupies. Stacking objects on their end can also use less floor space. A bed frame, for example, can stand on four feet or be turned 90 degrees to stand on end with its feet leaning against a wall. On the other hand, you could choose to stack boxes on top of the bed, which means those boxes will not take up any more floor space because they're on top of the bed. Right, this application, so it's divided into upstairs and downstairs. There we are. Um, and these are the rooms that I assume you have upstairs and they're on the left there so you can swipe and the top one is attic then we have bathroom bedroom office and this yellow thing here means a room that I can't think of so you can use that for a room that you have that I don't know about um, so it, they're aggregate so for example clicking on the uh, bedroom it doesn't mean you've only got the one bedroom it means all the items in all the bedrooms in your house uh, are listed here uh, same goes for all the bathrooms upstairs and same goes for all the attics you have so um, quick one downstairs so we've got the kitchen the dining room the lounge the uh, another bathroom another office a hallway a garden a garage and then that yellow thing again back to upstairs let's say we're in the attic and you haven't just got six boxes and you haven't just got two suitcases you've in fact got a clock so I've just clicked the plus button down the bottom there and we've got new item, tap new item and let's call it something interesting, we will call it clock save and now we have uh, a clock in the attic and it's marked as on the floor which means it's going to take up some space if we click on calculate automatically without doing anything else we on the on the left there we have um, square feet and square meters if you phoned up a storage facility and say I want to rent a self storage unit that takes up a of uh, a floor area of 144 square feet they, they will know exactly what you mean uh, what I've neglected to tell you is I've already populated this application with all the items I would expect to find in a three bedroom house. Um, so for example, um, bedrooms, we've got, we've got two single beds and a double bed. Um, and I've chosen to actually put these beds on their end, as you can see there, and they're on the floor. So the calculator is taking them into account when it calculates how much space you want. But let's say, oh, I don't want to put the beds on the on their end. Um, I actually want to lay them normal, the bed frames in a normal way, and then put boxes on top of them. So we tap the box, we tap double bed, and we unselect on end, and we do the same for single bed. Uh, now the calculations will take that into consideration. The numbers have changed because it's now taken into consideration your beds aren't on their ends. They're now um, uh, the proper way up on, on the floor. But of course now you would go around the house and say, well, I'm going to put, for example, uh, 
I'm going to put all those boxes from the bedrooms on top of the beds, oh, which you already are stacking them on top of something, according to this anyway. Um, but if you've got something that's uh, an office desk, something that isn't on the floor already, which are, um, so we've got uh, lounge cabinets, lounge chairs. Oh, well, you, you get it, right? So basically you, you're going to be choosing what gets stacked on what. You can use this to do that for you. Uh, right, one final thing. I don't want the clock. Actually, I'm going to bin it because it's just take, it's going to take up. It's more trouble than it's worth. So you just tap on the clock. So well, I, I don't want you. You're going, you're going to the uh, dustbin. So you, you, you tap um, delete and off it goes. So when we could calculate again, it won't be included in the calculations. Right, um, so you've, you've seen upstairs, you've seen downstairs, you've seen calculate. Calculate tab also has some other information with, with regards to what the stuff you need to take with you when you go to a self storage facility. Um, that's all there. And if you fancy reading the documentation because my video is a bit not very good, that's all there as well. So you've got some text to, to read that tell you how to use the application. And, uh, and I will say thank you very much for um, taking the time to um, be interested in my application and listen to this video. Bye-bye.